The solidus Latin for solid place solidi, nomisma Greek, nomisma nomisma, lit. coin, or bezant was originally a relatively pure gold coin issued in the late Roman Empire. Under Constantine, who introduced it on a wide scale, it had a weight of about 4.5 grams. It was largely replaced in Western Europe by Pepin the Short's currency reform, which introduced the silver-based pound, shilling, penny system, under which the shilling Latin, solidus functioned as a unit of account equivalent to 12 pence, eventually developing into the French sou. In Eastern Europe, the nomisma was gradually debased by the Byzantine emperors until it was abolished by Alexius I in 1092, who replaced it with the hyperpyron, which also came to be known as a bezant. The Byzantine solidus also inspired the originally slightly less pure Arab dinar. In late antiquity and the Middle Ages, the solidus also functioned as a unit of weight equal to 172nd of a pound. Roman coinage The solidus was introduced by Diocletian in AD 301 as a replacement of the aureus, composed of relatively solid gold and minted 60 to the Roman pound. His minting was on a small scale, however, and the coin only entered widespread circulation under Constantine I after AD 312, when it permanently replaced the aureus. Constantine's solidus was struck at a rate of 72 to a Roman pound of about 326.6 grams of pure gold. Each coin weighed 24 Greco-Roman carats, 189 milligrams each, or about 4.5 grams of gold per coin. By this time, the solidus was worth 275,000 increasingly debased denarii. With the exception of the early issues of Constantine the Great and the odd usurpers the solidus today is a much more affordable gold Roman coin to collect compared to the older aureus. Especially those of Valens Honorius and later Byzantine issues. The solidus was maintained essentially unaltered in weight, dimensions and purity until the 10th century. During the 6th and 7th centuries, lightweight. Solidi of 20, 22 or 23 siliquae one siliqua was one twenty-fourth of a solidus were struck along with the standard weight issues, presumably for trade purposes or to pay tribute. Many of these lightweight coins have been found in Europe, Russia and Georgia. The lightweight solidi were distinguished by different markings on the coin, usually in the exergu for the 20 and 22 siliqua coins and by stars in the field for the 23 siliqua coins. In theory the solidus was struck from pure gold, but because of the limits of refining techniques, in practice the coins were often about 23k fine 95.8% gold. In the Greek-speaking world during the Roman period, and then in the Byzantine economy, the solidus was known as the nomisma nomisma plural nomismata. In the 10th century Emperor Nisiphorus II Phocas introduced a new lightweight gold coin called the Tetartaran nomisma that circulated alongside the solidus, and from that time the solidus nomisma became known as the histomenon nomisma histomenon nomisma in the Greek-speaking world. Initially it was difficult to distinguish the two coins, as they had the same design, dimensions and purity, and there were no marks of value to distinguish the denominations. The only difference was the weight. The Tetartaran nomisma was a lighter coin, about 4.05 grams, but the histomenon nomisma maintained the traditional weight of 4.5 grams. To eliminate confusion between the two, from the reign of Basil II the solidus histomenon nomisma was struck as a thinner coin with a larger diameter, but with the same weight and purity as before. From the middle of the 11th century the larger diameter histomenon nomisma was struck on a concave flan, though the smaller tetartaran nomisma continued to be struck on a smaller flat flan. Former money changer Michael IV the Paphlagonian assumed the throne of Byzantium in 1034 and began the slow process of debasing both the tetartaran nomisma and the histomenon nomisma. The debasement was gradual at first, but then accelerated rapidly, about 21 carats pure during the reign of Constantine IX 1042-1055, 18 carats under Constantine X 1059 16 carats under Romanus IV 1068-1071, 14 carats under Michael VII 1071-1078, 8 carats 
units under Nisiphorus III and 0–8 carats during the first eleven years of the reign of Alexius I Alexius reformed the coinage in 1092 and eliminated the solidus altogether. In its place he introduced a new gold coin called the Hyperpyron Nomisma at about 20.5 k fine 85%. The weight, dimensions and purity of the Hyperpyron Nomisma remained stable until the fall of Constantinople to the Crusaders in 1204. After that time the exiled empire of Nicaea continued to strike a debased Hyperpyron Nomisma. Michael VIII recaptured Constantinople in 1261, and the Byzantine Empire continued to strike the debased Hyperpyron Nomisma until the joint reign of John V and John VI After that time the Hyperpyron Nomisma continued as a unit of account, but it was no longer struck in gold. From the 4th to the 11th centuries, solidi were minted mostly at the Constantinopolitan Mint, but also in Thessalonica, Trier, Rome, Milan, Ravenna, Syracuse, Alexandria, Carthage, Jerusalem and other cities. During the 8th and 9th centuries the Syracuse Mint produced a large number of solidi that failed to meet the specifications of the coins produced by the Imperial Mint in Constantinople. The Syracuse solidi were generally lighter about 3.8 grams and only 19 k fine 79% pure. Although imperial law forbade merchants from exporting solidi outside imperial territory, many solidi have been found in Russia, Central Europe, Georgia, and Syria. In the 7th century they became a desirable circulating currency in Arabian countries. Since the solidi circulating outside the empire were not used to pay taxes to the emperor, they did not get reminted, and the soft pure gold coins quickly became worn. Through the end of the 7th century, Arabian copies of solidi, dinars minted by the caliph Abd al Malik ibn Marwan, who had access to supplies of gold from the Upper Nile, began to circulate in areas outside the Byzantine Empire. These corresponded in weight to only 20 carats grams, but matched the weight of the lightweight 20 silique solidi that were circulating in those areas. The two coins circulated together in these areas for a time, the solidus was not marked with any face value throughout its 7th century manufacture and circulation. Fractions of the solidus known as semisis half solidi and tremisis one -third solidi were also produced. The word soldier is ultimately derived from solidus, referring to the solidi with which soldiers were paid. <laughs> <laughs> Impact on world currencies In medieval Europe, where the only coin in circulation was the silver penny denier, the solidus was used as a unit of account equal to 12 deniers. Variations on the word solidus in the local language gave rise to a number of currency units. <laughs> France In the French language, which evolved directly from common or vulgar Latin over the centuries, solidus changed to soldus, then salt, then sol and finally su. No gold solidi were minted after the Carolingians adopted the silver standard, thenceforward the solidus or sol was a paper accounting unit equivalent to one twentieth of a pound or livre of silver and divided into twelve denarii or deniers. The monetary unit disappeared with decimalization and introduction of the franc during the French Revolution First Republic in 1795, but the coin of five centimes, the twentieth part of the franc, inherited the name sou. As a nickname, in the first half of the 20th century, a coin or an amount of five francs was still often referred to as cent sous. To this day, in French around the world, solde means the balance of an account or invoice, and is the specific name of a soldier's salary. Although the sou as a coin disappeared more than two centuries ago, the word is still used as a synonym of money in many French phrases, avoir des sous as being rich, etre sans un sou as being poor same construction as penniless. <laughs> Quebec In Canadian French, sou and sou noir are commonly employed terms for the Canadian cent. Sen and sen noré are also regularly used. The European French centime is not used in Quebec. In Canada one hundredth of a dollar is officially known as a cent pronounced -cent in both English and French. However, in practice, a feminine form of cent, sen pronounced -sen, has mostly replaced the official cent outside bilingual areas. 
Spoken use of the official masculine form of cent is uncommon in francophone only areas of Canada. Quarter dollar coins in colloquial Quebec French are sometimes called trente sous 30 cents, because of a series of changes in terminology, currencies, and exchange rates. After the British conquest of Canada in 1759, French coins gradually fell out of use, and sous became a nickname for the halfpenny, which was similar in value to the French sou. Spanish pesos and U.S. dollars were also in use, and from 1841 to 1858 the exchange rate was fixed at $4. Topic: One pound or four hundred. Two hundred forty d. This made twenty-five equal to fifteen d, or thirty halfpence, i.e. trente sous. In 1858, pounds, shillings, and pence were abolished in favor of dollars and cents, and the nickname sou began to be used for the one coin. But the term un trente sous for a twenty-five coin has endured. In the vernacular Quebec French sous and cents are also frequently used to refer to money in general, especially small amounts. <inaudible> Italy The name of the medieval Italian silver soldo, plural soldi, coined since the 11th century, was derived from solidus. This word is still in common use today in Italy in its plural soldi with the same meaning as the English equivalent, money. The word, soldo, like the French solde mentioned above, means the balance of an account or invoice. It also means, seasonal rebate, probably by contamination between the original meaning and the English word, sales. Spain and Peru, Portugal and Brazil As with soldier in English, the Spanish and Portuguese equivalent is soldado almost the same pronunciation. The name of the medieval Spanish sueldo and Portuguese saldo which also means salary were derived from solidus, the Filipino term sueldo is derived from the Spanish. The Spanish and Portuguese word saldo, like the French solde, means the balance of an account or invoice. It is also used in some other languages, such as German and Afrikaans. Some have suggested that the Peruvian unit of currency, the sol, is derived from solidus, but the standard unit of Peruvian currency was the real until 1863. Throughout the Spanish world the dollar equivalent was eight reals, pieces of eight, which circulated legally in the United States until 1857. We hear echoes of that time in the expression, two bits for a quarter dollar, and the real was last used for accounting in the U.S. stock market, which traded in one-eighth dollars until 2001. The Peruvian sol was introduced at a rate of 5.25 per British pound, or just under four shillings the legacy soldus. The term sols de oro was introduced in 1933, three years after Peru had actually abandoned the gold standard. In 1985 the Peruvian sol was replaced at 1,000 to 1 by the Inti, representing the sun god of the Incas. By 1991 it had to be replaced with a new sol at a million to 1, after which it remained reasonably stable. <laughs> United Kingdom King Offa of Mercia began minting silver pennies on the Carolingian system c. 785. As on the continent, English coinage was restricted for centuries to the penny, while the silling, understood to be the value of a cow in Kent or a sheep elsewhere, was merely a unit of account equivalent to 12 pence. The Tudors minted the first shilling coins. Prior to decimalization in the United Kingdom in 1971, the abbreviation S, from solidus was used to represent shillings, just as D, denarius and pound libra were used to represent pence and pounds respectively. Under the influence of the old long S, the abbreviations, pound SD, eventually developed into the use of a slash, which gave rise to that symbol's ISO and Unicode name, solidus. See also Roman and Byzantine coinage Besant Nomisma Hoxney Horde Solidus and slash punctuation marks <laughs>